Peachy Journalers group, I posted a challenge. And basically the challenge is to, on a particular file that we have in our group, to list your top 10 must-haves when you faux Benici. Um, I also threw in the added twist of a video and there's a little giveaway and stuff that goes with it. Um, so this is kind of what this is for. I, I just thought it would be really, really fun to see what everybody uses on a daily basis. Their, their grab and go, this is what I use every single day or relatively every single day to, when they journal in their Fobonichi. And so we're going to have a whole list of them compiled on the, on the Facebook group and I can't wait to read through all of them. I can't wait to see the videos on it and I just thought this would be a lot of fun. Um, here we go. I actually had a little bit of a struggle with this. I was watching my video from last year and um, I was like, oh my gosh, there was all this stuff I wanted to use and I had to use and that kind of stuff. And a lot of them are still the same, but I have pared down so much. It is amazing. Um, I've also gotten rid of a lot of stuff, so that has really helped me kind of narrow the field. So first off, um, my probably my number one must have <laughs> is um, my Fobonichi journaling area zone, if you will. And so I'm gonna insert a clip here so that you guys can watch where I do most of my Fobonichi-ing. <laughs> and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm first one of my must-haves is an area to put all of my stuff for my Fobonichi. So one of my top 10 must-haves is my Fobonichi zone, if you will. And I'm not sure how this is going to work because I've never held the camera to take video before. So if you get seasick easily, this is probably where you want to pause off for a while. Um, basically, at the top of my zone, I have all of my paints, my ink tents, my Lyra crayons, and all of that goes up there. Um, all of my chalk inks go there that I use for all of the stamping that I do in my journal. Um, I have my ATG, my paint brushes, and baby wipes, because you gotta have baby wipes if you're Fobonichi, and then some miscellaneous stickers and stuff like that. And then down below, I have my journaling cards and some other alphas and stickers that I like to use in there. So I'm counting this as one. <laughs> it is, let's see if I can scoot back. It is my Fobonichi table, if you will. So that's one of them. Okay, so by now you've already seen the zone. Now, some of the time I do sit over at my desk and watch my computer, but my table rolls. And so what I usually do is I just turn it and then I can see my, my TV computer from this table and then all of my stuff is here. Now, of course, you don't have to have an area to do Fobonichi, but this is my must-haves, and so I have to have everything out where I can see it or I don't use it. And, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's in labeled boxes or not. If it's not in front of my face, I never remember to use it. So that is why I have a zone. Okay, I kind of listed my favorites that I, I have in the area, so you, you're going to kind of have a general idea. So the top number one must have favorite, of course, is you've got to have a journal. I don't care what kind of journal, just a journal that you can put your everyday memories in and then make them pretty. Uh, my choice is a Moleskine. I'm currently using the extra large, which is seven and a half by 10, but you can use any Fobonichi you want. There's no such thing as a Fobonichi. Everybody's like, what, what Fobonichi should I buy? If it's got blank-ish papers in it and you can write in it and do whatever you want to do in it, look, you own a Fobonichi. There, there is no such thing. A lot of people want to say that Miguel Ruiz is the, the Fobonichi. It is not. Any blank journal that you want to use would work as a Fobonichi. Most people use that one because of the grid, that it is similar to the real Fobonichi, 
but reality wise it's not <laughs> so any any journal that you want to use would work as a Fobonichi I have used the Miguel Ruiz and although the paper is fantastic it kept falling apart on me so I switched to the Moleskine I had been using the smaller ones if you've seen any of my previous videos you know this and then I have moved up to the the larger one now and I really like it and so one of my top 10 must-haves would be my journal my Moleskine okay now the trick is to have space here to show all this. The thing, I try to pick, pick, bleh, pick the things that I use every single day. Not sort of use once in a while. These are the things that I reach for every single day. Why are we so crooked? Holy cow, you guys, sorry. Drunk, drunk camera drive in here. Okay, um, let's see. Well, pens and pencils. And I only grabbed two because you don't want to see my hoard <laughs> of pens and pencils. But um, I, I use just a basic Dollar Tree uh, cheapy pencil most of the time. And um, I do love my preppy fountain pen, but I do use the carbon ink in it. I have a new love that I don't know where. Oh, here. I, I also really like the Hybrid Technica by Pintel. I like these two because they are waterproof, although they have started to float in my new journal, so I don't know what's up with that. But I would say these are what I use the absolute most for writing and drawing. Now for journaling, I like to use, I like to use whatever I grab. I like jelly roll pins, I like paper mate flares, I like color. So whatever color I'm going for on my pages, that's the pins I draw. Or, or I grab for so yeah basically pens and pencils do I have an absolute favorite I would probably say my preppy fountain pen um, but to it, it really just depends on what I'm doing so pens pencils that kind of thing that's an obvious you gotta have <laughs> okay what am I on I don't even know what number so we're just gonna go with it okay my two favorite use every single day coloring mediums um, every single day, every single day I use one or the other of these. I have others. I have watercolor pencils by Derwent. I have the Kiritake Gambai Fancy Dancy Woohoo Japanese colors. I have Inktense blocks over there. I have lots of, I have Dollar Tree paint. I have them all. But the two that I reach for almost every single day is my Lyra, Lyra Aquacolor crayons, which basically means they're watercolor bait. You can watercolor with them. I use these probably the most. Uh, it, a lot of it depends on what I'm doing, but for the most part, I use these. I, if you can only buy one higher end thing to play with in your Fobonichi, I cannot recommend these more. They, depending on when you order them and when you get them, you can get them on Amazon from anywhere from 35 to 50 bucks. Um, they do go on sale. They are worth every penny. The only downside to them is you can't buy individual crayons. I have an entire video on these, so if you want to see it, I'll link it down below. But they're my babies. I love them. If I had to get rid of all of my other ones, these two are the things that I would keep. <laughs> okay, so one of them is the Lyra crayons. The other one is my Inktense pencils. And... I know these are expensive, and most of you are going, ah, that's really expensive. Yes, but you can draw or paint with them. So technically you are getting two sets of pencils in one. So you can just do regular drawing with them, or you can paint and watercolor with them. And they're permanent when they dry, as long as you get all the pigment wet. Um, I wasted my money and bought a little tiny set of these thinking, I'll just try them out. I, I don't know if I'll ever get into it. No, don't do that. <laughs> buy the whole thing. Save up and buy the whole thing because you will not regret owning the entire set. You will regret the smaller set. I know everybody's like, no, 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 I, I'll only use those. No, no, no. You, just trust me. If you don't believe me, come over and join the Fobonichi Journalist Group and ask anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but these are my two color babies. These are what I use the most. If I'm looking for bright and intense, I go for my ink tints. If I'm looking for soft and more wishy waterly color, I go for my Lyra crayons. And if you have these, be sure you make yourself a swatch book because 
what the colors look like in the crayon is not always what the colors look like on the paper for you know that it's very easy here's a great example of how they don't look the same <laughs> Make yourself a swatch book. And if you have ink tense pencils and you have not made yourself a swatch book, oh my goodness, good luck to you. Because almost none of the colors on the end have anything to do with the colors on um, how they turn out. And so um, I would recommend, let's see here, making a color swatch for them. They, they just don't, like here's 19, where's 19? Here's 19. This is the color on the end of 19. Here's 19. Yeah, no, they don't look the same. So make yourself a swatch book. Okay, so colors, that was my colors. So I got pencils and pens, I got colors, I got the journal, I got where, where I do the deed. Um, adhesive, some kind of adhesive. I like to put photos and tip-ins and add-ins and die cuts and stickers and all that kind of stuff. Um, I use my ATG gun and my scrappy tape the most, but I also have a Xyron sticker maker, and of course, I love Yoohoo glue sticks wherever it went. Here, right here. So, uh, some kind of really good adhesive. Um, I don't recommend Dollar, Dollar Tree ad st glue sticks. Spend some money, these are worth it. Nothing falls apart. You got it. <laughs> But so I would say some kind of adhesive. I do print photos every single day to put in mine. I use Dollar Tree photo paper, just my regular printer, and they work great. So I would say I use the adhesive every single day. So I guess the dollar, the photo paper too, but anyways, that's why I use it. Okay, stamping. I don't write my date in. Most people write their date in. I don't because I own a plethora of date stamps. Like, it's kind of embarrassing on how I can't turn down a calendar set. And so um, I use ca uh, date stamps, like this is a Technique Tuesday one, which I just got, and oh my God, it's gorgeous. I don't know if this one comes with weekdays. Does anybody know if the Technique Tuesday ooh, comes with weekdays instead of just the months? Love that one. Um, and then, uh, so date stamps. I use date stamps all the time. Of course, you need ink. <laughs> I have, I, I skip pages, so I don't ever worry about bleed through, but I do like an ink I can use in both my planner and my uh, Fobonichi, and I have recently acquired as many as I could get my hands on financially feasible of the Versa Magic uh, chalk inks. These rock. They are awesome. They come in a ton of colors. And I just, I really like them. Takes a while to dry. I'm okay with that because I'm never in a hurry. You can also blot them or heat gun them. Um, but you, some kind of ink to work with your with my stamps. I like a lot of colors to choose from because, again, I'm a matchy-matchy person. So I try to match my dates to the rest of the page. And so inks and stamps. So that's kind of one-ish, two things that are... <laughs> I don't know where we are. So, oh, getting back to the painting. You want to see something gross? This is what I use every single day. This sits out on my desk full of water and Sophie drinks out of it because she likes to set my hair on fire. Um, I got this, what is, it? It, it's like a brush, it has a bottom to it down there with a screen and um, I got it at Michael's, coupon, blah, blah, blah. You rinse your brushes and then you can hang them. Here's the problem that I ran into. Because I'm lazy and I don't dump my water out every day, it's spraying a leak. Yeah. So I put it in a, I can't believe it's not butter container. I should have dumped the water out so you could see it. And then I fill the, the butter container and this container. It gives me two different waters all in one. And I don't use a lot of water, so it works out perfect. So that's my little water thing. And to go along with that is the brushes. And I totally blame Sandy Alnack for this. And she doesn't watch my videos, so I can't even go, hi, Sandy. Because she'd be like, who are you? Um, anyways, this is totally her fault. And I have to agree <laughs> with her. I have... I can't even tell you how many paint brushes I've bought that I have bought at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or somewhere used a coupon because I'm not a great artist and therefore I don't need fancy dancy brushes, blah, blah, blah. I'm wrong. You're wrong if you think that. 
These are the silver black velvet um, round brushes and I, I, I'll leave this down below. I've spoken about these a bazillion times. You can get them on Amazon, Dick Blix, uh, I don't know where else. Those are the only two I know where. But these are not what these are not what I would call cheap brushes. I would not say they're like a thousand dollars a piece. They average ten to twenty dollars a brush. Sometimes you can get them on sale. If you can get them at Dick Blix on sale, go for it. Um, I can't. I had to buy mine on Amazon. I bought the the size four that she uses the most on her videos. This is my favorite brush in the whole wide world. And if you can only buy one of them, buy this one. It is amazing. It keeps its point. It, it does a nice flood. You can, I mean, I, I just can't say enough things about these brushes. I was wrong and a cheap brush won't do it. <laughs> um, this is the number six. Somewhere I have, somewhere, somewhere, oh, and I have the number eight. Um, the number six is probably an optional. I just got the one in between, but I bought the number four and then I had to buy the number eight because I needed a big washi wash brush. I don't know if this is even in focus. And um, then I had to buy the number six because I already had the two, the four and the eight and they were lonely. And I also have one on my wish list for Christmas, a big fat white one to do. Yeah, I, I, I'm not artistic. I can paint and I can draw, but I'm not, it doesn't come naturally to me. And no, I'm not dissing myself. Um, it's just an honest opinion. And I still think that I deserve these <laughs> because I'm really trying to be better. And one of the things I have learned in my Fobonichi journal process so far is that don't buy for how talented you think you are today. Buy for how, ta how much you want to learn and how good you want to be tomorrow. And the tools and the supplies really make a difference. And I don't have a lot of money. I had to save up to get these. I, I don't have, you know, plethora of money trees floating around my yard. And so it was a big investment for me. And I don't regret it. And I it, they make me try harder because I spent this money on it. I can't let my ink tents pencils just sit. I spent a lot of money on them. So now I have to use them. And so I would I would recommend them. So that's kind of a tangent there. But so the other thing I use every single day is my brushes and my little water juggy thing. All right. Now, if you know me at all, you're going to recognize this one. Do I even need to go there? <laughs> I love baby wipes. If you want to do a background on thin journal paper, you and baby wipes need to become friends. I use them for everything. I use them to clean my stamps off. I use them to dry my brushes off. I use them to, to blend watercolors on the background of my page instead of a brush because they don't use a lot of water. I just use them for everything. I buy them in bulk at Sam's Club because yes, I use them for everything. I don't care what kind. Don't let that mislead you. In here is probably member's mark or something. Um, but I love baby wipes. So that's that's my other one. Where are we at here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, number 10. <laughs> I, I have... I, I, it's embarrassing to even start to tell you how many washi tapes I have, how many things of stickers I have, how many things of journaling cards I have, and I have actually given away hundreds of pounds of this stuff, and I kid you not, and I still have tons to work through. So I would say that the other thing I use every single day is some kind of washi tape, some kind of sticker, some kind of journaling card, something from my stash so that every single day I am working through my stuff. I have really done good this year and not bought a lot of things that everybody else is saying, oh, look what I got, look what I got, but then they never use or, you know, 10 years later they wish they had bought something else because it's old and I just, I have had the best year cleaning out my stuff, giving away my stuff, and I just, huh. so I would say probably using up stuff is my last must have do every single day. It is something that I'm trying to use up goes on a page 
and I try when I buy new washi to give away a bunch. If you're part of the journalers group, you recognize that every time I come home with washi tape from the dollar store or whatever, I have a giveaway and I split my rolls up so that everybody can have some. Well, not everybody, I wish I could, Whew. but that's a lot of people. Yeah. And so, yeah, I would have to say stuff. So I think that pretty much rounds up the crew of what I use. I'd say in general, don't spend a lot of money to get started. Check it out, see if you like it. Buy a composition notebook from Walmart and a pencil and see if you like to do it. There's nothing wrong with Crayola. There's nothing wrong with uh, ink tents. It's just get started and have fun with it. These are the things that I use every day that I have come from a year ago to today to using and I just wanted to share that. I will link down below what my must-haves were when I started this journey last year. That video is up on my channel and if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or anything, leave them down below. Likes are always appreciated because they sure outweigh the dislikes because people need lives. Y'all have a great day. I will see you in the next video. Bye now.